respected by everybody in the audience. There is one for every member of the audience. Everyone in the audience. One for everyone in the audience. A sentence welcomed by the inappropriately drunk audience of the Late Late Toy Show every year. Tickets for the event are about as rare as this bag of hen's teeth, which is empty due to rarity. I investigate the seedy underworld of the toy show ticket trade. Anyone buying or selling tickets? This is Owen, an RTE ticket tout. Mass and Sunday tickets. George Hook tickets. Just come and stand and look at George Hook tickets. I offered him a quantity of tobacco to establish a sense of trust. So a common phrase by drug dealers is never to get high on your own supply. Do you ever go to any of the RT shows yourself? Uh, I was at the Clare Bird show there two years ago. It was Clare Burn. Clare, Clare Burn, yeah. That was good, good fun. Really, really crazy, actually. Nice. Why was that? Well, it was a two-day rollover and we're in a stag do. And I was just... Still get kind of nightmares about that night. You brought a stag night to the Clare Burn show? Yeah, myself and a few boys from home, so... How many men are we talking about? Uh, no one's keeping count, but at the end of the night, there was 25 of us left. It just turned absolutely chock a block. We're up on stage. We had clear burn on our shoulder. And we're just like going, well, clear. Disgraceful. TV audience tickets are meant to be free. However, on the street. Take, for example, winning streak. You're talking tickets prices from three to 500 euro. The Darcy show, bag of skittles. And the toy show? Ooh, you're talking uh, biggest night of the year for us here. Imagine if Beyonce got through at the All-Ireland final. Double that. Owen refused to name his supplier. He's very secretive. He's not even on Facebook. The only thing he'd reveal is the last man to cross this kingpin, Pat Kenny. Kenny the mental, right? He got two tickets on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Kenny underwent more and more humiliation until finally an attempt on his life. <laughs> Owen begged me to cease my investigation. Dangerous boys with their fingers in dangerous pies, so can you please stop that? Well, what's a dangerous pie? Pie is, uh, dangerous pie is the one that'll burn you, okay? This former toy show elf explains that the toy show waiting list goes back decades. People do anything to jump the queue. Kittenfinger showed me secret footage displaying the hoops potential audience members are forced to jump through. This is the, the chief elf, the, the head of the TCI. The Toy Council of Ireland. Genuinely really bad people who you wouldn't even monitor your phone book. I want to see some claps. More. <laughs> Cheering. Woo! Sad story. We are dealing with one sick son of a bitch. My informer arranged a meet. To hide my association with RTE News, I went undercover as a Northside Dublin dad, desperate to purchase toy show tickets. All right, let me just put my jacket down here. So you're willing to admit to me, in front of my jacket, that you're going to give me two toy show tickets for five grand? Yeah. I now had enough evidence to go to the Gardaí. Mr. Rufflebutt! Mr. Rufflebutt, open the door! Get that, get that. Strippers again. I told no, you no more strippers. strippers. I'm sure you, madam, but you're not strippers. The only thing we're interested in blowing is this story wide open. Late, late toy show tickets. Bloody loads of them. Get a shot of that. No. Get a shot of that. No. Can, sorry, do you mind? I can, I can see your curly whirlies. Do you want one? No, I can I just opened a selection box. How will I ruin my mother? Oh, my sister. Oh, my God, my family. The shame of it. Do you know if his wife knows? I'm bringing the minister! What minister? One of them! You can take me away and lock me up and use those tickets as evidence, or there could be one for everyone in the audience. Well, in the room. Why don't we give one to everyone in the audience? 